What you see here laying in this briefcase, which by the way looks like a case from a tactical submachine gun, is a Siemens PG710 notebook that is used to program and set up the automation of a Siemens Simatic S5 production line. Since this costed like a pile of money in the mid 90s, and I am pretty sure that uh, those production lines are still used, I am going to fix, upgrade, uh, backup and sell this on eBay. I might save some old production line somewhere in North Korea for example. The whole thing is made to be easily serviced, so opening it is not a big deal. It is a simple matter of removing several hexagonal screws, lifting the top and disconnecting the keyboard, as well as the monitor, video and power cables. General overview of the motherboard, it is using the Intel 386SL, which is basically an 855,000 transistor version of the 386SX processor. It also has integrated cache, bus and memory controller. It is ISA compatible and has power management capabilities that are OS independent and BIOS integrated. The 386SL was in fact the first chip specifically made for portable computers. The big Intel chip next to the CPU, uh, along with the time crystal here, is the Intel 82360SL, which is a common pair to the 386SL. It controls the direct memory access, programmable timer counters and interrupts. It also controls uh, system time and settings, the parallel serial and PS2 interfaces, as well as the EDE interface for our hard drive. The machine also has two megs of memory integrated, those SIP chips here, and I have further upgraded it with two 1 meg 30 pin original Siemens memory modules for a total of 4 megs of system random access memory. The small N82077SL chip here is just a 1 megabit per second floppy drive controller. The Western Digital QFP packaged uh, chip here uh, next to our big boys is uh, actually a VGA LCD flat panel controller that has integrated oscillator and 256K of uh, dedicated video memory. And this large uh, proprietary removable board is the interface uh, to the Simatic S5 production line. Two EEPROMs, one socketed, and both are loaded with system software. All legacy ports are here at the back, as well as the power supply unit, which is well isolated and shielded. Standard 1.44 MB 3.5 inch floppy drive with a funny notebook connector. And the hard drive is 80 max quantum. I have created an image with Norton Ghost just to stay safe in case of a drive failure. This here is the lit open close switch and next to it the LCD panel cable. The proprietary Siemens interface can be removed it slides in and out and it's secured by a screw. In general, everything is a top quality build, top engineered, I really like it. The only botch I could find uh, is in the power supply unit and it's a really small one. I also need to replace the battery that keeps uh, the system settings, a not so common 3.6 volts AA rechargeable, took me some time to find the proper one. Anyway, that's it, no big deal, just a little soldering on the wires and to the new one. Keyboard is not that interesting, nice to touch and type though. About the chassis, nickel screened, better shielding that way, it is conductive so be careful. No cracks or that uh, stupid bromine yellowing on the plastic, that said it was uh, probably kept in the tactical case. I'm ready for a test and at first glance the monochrome LCD display 
has some shades uh, because of its age uh, but no worries because there is a 15 pin uh, VGA port on the back uh, for an external monitor that said you need to enable it first from the system BIOS by setting the default display type to CRT interesting no Y2K issue here great engineering once again and for our younger viewers the Y2K was a scarecrow issue that was supposedly lead to the end of the world planes stock markets everything was about to crash and in the end none of that happened and this is how this Cymatic S5 programmer software for the Siemens PG700 and M Plus looks like and of course I have no idea what it does an interesting MS-DOS shell although I have always preferred the Northern Commander also installed on the system's hard drive is a Windows version 3.1 to play some solitaire between updates of the multi-million dollar production line. That is all for this uh, quick video guys, I hope you liked it, uh, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, and if you did not like it you can do whatever you want, because it's a democracy out there, although it isn't. More videos coming soon, thank you for watching, Mr. Caveman over and out, stay safe.